You gotta change your mental by striving to learn info. So open your third eye and recharge your crystals. You gotta change your mental. You gotta change your mental. You gotta change your mental by striving to learn info. So open your third eye and recharge your crystals. You gotta change your mental. You gotta change your mental. Peace, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Goddess Nigel. If you have not subscribed, please hit the notification bell. Subscribe. Make sure you follow so you can stay in tune to the downloads that I will be giving you. Um, so this is going to be about our chakras. We have seven chakras. Um, I also was reading today that we also have several chakras in our hands and other places, but we really focus on the main seven Um so I think I'm going to do seven videos, which today we're going to start with the first chakra, which is the root chakra. Um, it's the first chakra that acts as our root, and it is concerned with our connection to the earth and our very basic fundamental needs for survival, substance, shelter, and health of our physical body and safety. If the energy of this chakra is depleted or blocked, our connection to nature and the world around us may be weakened. As a result, we are likely to feel spacey, ungrounded, and less stable. In this condition, we may neglect our physical needs and we may become unhealthy and weak as a result of this neglect. If the energy of this chakra is overstimulated, we may become too attached to things of this physical world, which is very interesting. And we place too much importance on material wealth and possessions. We may be unable to develop the higher levels of our nature because we are afraid to risk losing their possessions. A person who is unable to enjoy their wealth for fear or losing it is the perfect example of the energy of this chakra being out of balance. This chakra is often referred to as the base chakra. Um, so this is located at the base of the spine. The corresponding color in this chakra is red. Um, it is commonly referred as the base chakra this chakra is represented by a lotus of four petals all right so the first chakra is the root chakra the color is red and we have to really i am starting to study this more i do know of our chakras but i do have a book and i want to study it a little more to get more in depth because the breakdown of the first chakra lets you know where you're out of tune, where you're unbalanced, okay? And too much of this, we can become too attached to the physical world and place too much importance on material wealth and possessions. So the more we learn what each chakra stands for, the more we can learn how to balance our chakras. We have to balance our chakras. Even the planet has chakras. So we all have to have balance. Um, this allows us to function better mentally, um, spiritually and physically. So as I'm going through this book, I'm going to um, upload some videos, whether if it's audio or just a visual um, for us to get just some basic information. I'm not going to go too deep into it. You know, you want to start off with the basics and then we can kind of go from there. So you guys do your own research and start with the first chakra. Don't try to overwhelm yourself. Find out what it is. Get familiar with it. And you will start to learn what is unbalanced within yourself. So I love you guys. Make sure you're meditating. Make sure you're hydrating. Um, and make sure you're learning about yourself. The more we learn about ourselves, the more we can heal ourselves. So like I said, today we are on the first chakra. And we will go on to all seven. And we will be getting more in depth. So I might do another video tomorrow where we are going a little bit deeper until I feel comfortable to go to the next chakra. So as I'm learning, you guys are learning, I'm giving you information. And if you guys know anything I don't know, anything that's important for me or my viewers, please drop it below um, in the comments.